All right, traders, I'm super excited to get back to full-time trading. Tomorrow, I'm finally back to it full-time. I was barely in the chat room today, kind of got in and opened it, opened the room and uh, put out a few gap play ideas, but um, no trades for me, I, I had to go. So tomorrow, I'm finally back to full-time trading. and Can't wait to get back into it with everyone. All right, so um, the SPY looks like it hit all-time highs today. Uh, narrow range, fairly low volume. Um, here's what I found that I want to watch tomorrow. CYOU, big volume spike. Not a very decent close, well off of its highs, but maybe a red to green in that one, we'll see. RBZ, um, just because when we switch to 15 minute candles, this thing has had some nice pops, you know, here, here, a uh, really nice one here, and then you had the gap up. So it really gave no clean setup. Today, I think Jane actually, if you weren't in the room, I think Jane pointed this one out uh, over the five minute high. I didn't see your poster, I would have taken it because anytime you have a recent high flyer, and it's kind of quiet in the morning and then breaks out of its opening you know, range. Um, and this would have been over 691. A lot of times you can get people piling in and even from uh, 692 to 720, pretty nice. And it ended up going a little bit higher than that, um, closing in about the middle of its range. But because of its recent action, I don't, I don't look at this chart and think it's pretty, but because of its recent action, um, I do want to watch it tomorrow. We might get a trade out of it. VT, VT. Um, breaking out of like a, I don't know, seven, eight day, 10 day base um, on decent volume, although closed well off of its highs. Um, I gotta tell you, there's not a lot uh, in my scans today. I looked at, I, I bet I just looked at 200 charts. Um, and so I put it on there, but I don't love it. Um, SALT, S-A-L-T. Uh, I believe this is a shipper and had a really nice day, um, really nice pop and closed pretty strong. So you kinda, you're gonna see a shipper theme here. <laughs> I do want to watch this SALT, um, maybe a red to green in that one. Um, getting away from the shippers for a second. BE had a nice pop today on nice volume, but ended up closing about where it opened. But when we look at intraday, you really did have a nice little breakout. Um, I was already gone. I wonder if you guys caught this because I know some people had BE on a chart. Um, really nice little kind of cup and handle breakout here. So if anyone caught that, congrats. I haven't spoken to anybody that was in the chat room today yet. Um, but that was pretty clean, it looks like. I don't know how it looked on level two and all that, but I, you know, it kind of rolled over at the end of the day, but I do want to watch it. It's attempting to kind of break out of this range. This one certainly has issues with the $14 area today and then here and here. Um, we'll see, I'm not in love with it. And, then, and back to the shipper theme, SB, I believe is also a shipper and a nice little extra volume breakout today on that one. So I want to watch that one. And then I thought, I wonder if the shippers were kind of getting some attention today. And I looked at some of the old names like GLBS. I'm not, I'm not putting this one on the list, but GLBS got a little bit of spike. PXS, you can see a little bit of extra volume. So it felt like maybe people were looking at the old shippers. Um, and this is actually, to me, my sleeper pick if the shippers get going at all tomorrow. CTRM, um, spready, crazy trader. But you did have this nice little pop yesterday, sorry, that would have been Friday, that it topped out at 721. And then today put in an inside candle, kind of topping out right around seven. So I love this over today's high. I basically love this through seven tomorrow, especially if there's a shipper theme that gets started, all right? Um, that's sort of my sleeper shipper pick to watch tomorrow. Um, S-I-E-N, just put it back on watch. It had this pop about a week ago and it's kind of flagging uh, didn't give any kind of setup today. Well, I don't know. I didn't look at it um, on an intraday basis. Now it never even broke its opening five minute high, um, but it's still worth watching, still in that flag pattern. And then I'm gonna throw WWE back on watch again. Kind of a narrow range day compared to uh, a couple days ago and um, touch the 200 day again. I still think it's overdue for a bounce. When we go to five minute candles, you can see it put in its high right at the opening print pretty much and never broke it. What I'd like to see, <coughs> excuse me, tomorrow, would be an open and a long sideways move like this and then an upside break out of that move. I think you might be able to get a quick 50 cents, dollar, dollar 50, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see how it's trading, but this certainly over oversold in the short term and the 200 day might provide support. Um, again, I looked at uh, 200 charts and didn't find much, but I'm hoping uh, we'll find some intraday runners and then, and then some maybe buy zone pullbacks on those, um, recent high flyers with low risk setups, that sort of thing. Um, the teamwork's always great in there, so I am certainly confident we'll find several good setups uh, tomorrow. All right, I'm done babbling. We'll see everybody in chat tomorrow.